everyone, my name is Lou, and today I'm going to be doing highlights on my hair. I'm, well, I'm going to show you what you're probably used to seeing. Foils. You know, some sort of this developer. And probably BW. I'm not going to throw that because it's powdery and gross. And one of these and one of these. This is what I'm going to be using. It's called Jolene. That's French, but it makes me sing the Jolene song all the time, every time I use it. Now, I'm going to show you what's, what's in the box, as Brad Pitt would say. I'm going to open it up. And they have a nifty little buckety type thing that you can hold on the side. And it's new. They didn't have that before. You've got the... Cream be hi cream bleach accelerator and the cream bleach creme so oh and a little nifty stir so that's what you get in there and yes this is for your face but I use it for my hair because I'll tell you a story long story short lived in London England in the winter and didn't think of bringing any products to make my hair blonde and it was pretty gloomy there. Went to the store, to the pharmacies there and this is what they had. And so this is what I was left with and I tried it once and I was hooked. So um, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see. All right, what I do, lipstick on my hand, is I take a scoop of this That should be enough for right now. I'm only, is my head in the way? No. I just kind of measure it by my eye, which I don't recommend. You should probably pay attention to the directions. And then I stir it until all those gravelly little things. It's very different from regular powder and developer because, and I think that's why I like it is because it's so thick. And you get that consistency that sticks on your head. So look, mmm, goo. Okay, and one thing I did not mention that you're gonna need is a knife. Not like this, but like this, very nicely. First, and I'm gonna do I, the middle part of my hair and I have let it get dirty for about, I want to say two days, but the truth is probably three or four, so, ew, what keeps happening? Mm, there we go, good enough for me. All right, so as you can see, oops, not so pretty, but you can see here, here, here here and kind of all over the place you've got little blonde pieces but there's brown on top what I'm gonna do now is show you what the knife is for so here I have this goo knife I'm gonna take just a little bit of my knife and you can do it all the way down see this thing is not what I usually use but um, get some on the side of it and kind of get it all the way on your knife. And can I please make sure that I specify not this part of the knife that cuts, the other part. Don't use a steak knife. I'm talking but a knife. Okay. So here goes the first one. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but okay. So I'm going to come close. So let's start here. You see, I've got a streak here from the last time it was colored. So I'm just going to continue there and come down. So there. And I'm not going to go all the way down because that's just re-bleaching what's already been bleached. And give it another dip. See? And then I'm going to go somewhere else where it's blonde. Right here. Nice. And then I'm going to continue Here's another piece I did before. 
And here's another piece I did before. And what's nice about this is you get to the closest you possibly can to your actual part. And you want that, I want that, uh, because then it looks more natural than, you know, just a little teeny couple millimeters of where the foil was and that you couldn't get all the way to your head. But this, you can get very close to your head and it's gentle because people use this stuff on their face. And look how thick it is. So, and you just kind of do that to the rest of your head. Here, here. And as I said, I'm gonna only do this one part on my head, but I part my hair on the side and in the middle. Normally, and I'll show you, but let's, we're gonna kind of fast forward through this. can see I'm finished with this part of my hair and I'll come close it doesn't look super neat or super messy it's just kind of there so I'm gonna let that sit for a while um, sometimes I go about my business in the house and you know start doing household stuff cleaning the kitchen cleaning my room and I realize that I still have this stuff on my head I don't recommend that you should probably time it I don't know what it says Directiones. Hmm. It says to use a, a, a do a patch test to see if your skin's allergic, and you you are getting it on your skin. You're getting it on your part. So I recommend what they recommend. A little patch. Um, I'll get back to the directions in just a minute. But here you see the middle part done. And I'm going to let that go. But as I was saying, I also part my hair on the side. So if you wanted to, and don't brush it through. There's no reason to brush it through. If you brush it through, you don't get the streaks. You get it all blended in. You get one big blonde piece. So if I wanted to do the side of my hair, I would just gently part it. Just comb this part. And don't mess this up right here. Comb it over. And here you have... A fresh batch of roots to do. Then I, what I would do is just take my knife and do it here as well. But, uh, that's so pretty. I'm just going to keep this part done. I'll see you in about, I don't know. I'll tell you when I get there. Okay, wet hair. Going to blow dry. Okay, I'm back. I have to admit it's the next day because I was way too tired to mess with my hair. Oh, look out for that. It's glass. To try to get my bra not to show. Anyway, here we go. There are the highlights. And my hair was so dirty and gross uh, yesterday when I colored it. It was hard to see the natural streaks that I have in it. That may have been a problem, but not bad for, uh, you know, a home job with um, a face bleaching, fair, oh, hi, face hair bleaching product uh, that I really like. And again, it's this stuff, Jolin, and it's just really thick and it allows you to put it on your hair and let it stay there uh, to penetrate your roots and make them blonde again. But anyway, that's it. Not bad. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Skip to My Lou. That's me, Lou. And um, I will put out some more videos very soon. Thank you. Thank you.